live from the comfort of our own homes and into yours as the Championship Dart Circuit is proud to present the CDC Championship League Canadian Division Premier Match of the Week presented by Magic Darts Incorporated. Hello again, everyone. I'm Colin Cosell, and I thank you all for joining us this evening. Now, if you're like me, you're still recovering from last week's historic nine-darter from Sean Brenneman. Such a show from the man, but now that's in the past, but will live forever on social media and in our hearts. But in this, the penultimate week of the regular season, we turn our sights to a prospective Canadian division final as number one and number two have at it in our virtual arena. That's right. It's Matt Campbell versus Jim Long, and it promises to be a doozy. I'll have more on them in just a moment. But first, let's take a look ahead, shall we? The remaining streams and their possible ripple effects, beginning with tomorrow night, Lauby and Puglio. With a win, Paul, uh, Puglio is in. That means it's do or die for a reigning Continental Cup champion, Danny Lauby. And then next week, it's Lindbergh looking to warm up for the playoffs against America's most decorated champion, Larry Butler, who is unfortunately eliminated, and followed by another playoff warm-up between the already clinched Jim Long and Kiefer Durham. And that, of course, brings us to our standings. In Canada, it is an 8-7-6-5 countdown for Campbell, Long, Durham, and Edmonds with the man, Mr. Nine Darter, the showboat, as I have now donned him, Sean Brenneman clinging onto a sliver of hope. Ross Snook and Kerry Way round out the division. There's a little bit of hope there for Kerry Way. We'll get into that later. But in the United States division, still a bit of uncertainty, which could change and force the aperture to close with the result of tomorrow's streaming match. This much we know. Lindbergh and Mawson are in. Butler and Cheney are out. Millar, with a loss last night, needs some help from Lobby and Puglio. Ladies and gentlemen, it is pandemonium in the United States on many levels, but it's all going to come into focus in roughly 25 hours from now. Whew, that brings us to tonight. All right, guys, you already know them, but here's a little story I've got to tell about two mean daughters you know so well. Matt Campbell, the 30-year-old, the ginger ninja. He is the fourth ranking member of the CDC after a two-year order of merit against number three, Jim Long. They're number one and number two, of course, in the standings. Jim Long at age 51 somehow looks younger than me at 40. All right, we will get to meet those gentlemen in just a couple of moments. But in the meantime, I've got some exciting news from our sponsor, Magic Darts Incorporated. As you know, the fantastic colonial line of dart boards and vector dart barrels are all available on a to zdarts.com with 10% off using the promo code to, uh, Colonial10 at checkout. But we have something new and exciting for our remaining live streams. That's right. Once a week for the remainder of the Magic Dart CDC Championship League season, we'll have a running sweepstakes to give you a chance to win some amazing darts prizes. This week, we have an autograph package of Rob Cross Voltage Darts, courtesy of Magic Darts, our sponsor, as well as a set of Darren Young Signature Fit Flights and a Fit Flight case, courtesy of our longtime partner, Cosmo Darts. How do you win? You simply click the link in the pinned post on the CDC Facebook page, that's facebook.com forward slash champ darts. And that will be available at the end of tonight's match until 5 p.m. tomorrow Eastern. All you got to do, answer three simple questions about the match you're watching tonight. Tonight's match. You can find those answers on Dart Connect in the match report available at tv.dartconnect.com. You get one entry per person. You can only enter once. Otherwise, you'll be disqualified. Again, answer the three questions found on the CDC Facebook page. The answers are right there on Dark Connect Match Report. One entry per person. CDC employees, staff, and immediately fam uh, immediate family members are ineligible. No purchase necessary to enter. Void where prohibited by law. All right. I expect you all to participate in that sweepstakes. But now I expect these two men to participate in tonight's match, a prospective championship final in the Canadian division. Matt Campbell and Jim Long. Gentlemen, if you wouldn't mind taking your spots, please. It'd be great to chat with you. Uh, I'm going to start with Jim. Jim, I haven't seen you in quite some time. Listen, take a look at the standings here. Um, you know, this is kind of a, uh, a set the standard match here. Uh, how are you going into it? How do you view this uh, kind of tough competition? 
Hey, good to see you again, Colin. Honestly, um, this is still the round robin, so it's just receding. Um, the real important match is yet to come. Matt and I are both in through into the playoffs. So, um, you know, it's just a great game against a good friend of mine that, man, I like to play this guy. He's a fantastic shot, and I just want to do my best. That's it. Jim pulling the stereotypical Canadian complimentary approach there is where everyone says the Canadians are so nice and so friendly. I, I, one of these days we're going to get you angry. In fact, let me throw this stat at you, Jim. Maybe this will do it. The last time you guys played against each other in a CDC event, it was 2019 event number six. Campbell beat you 5-1 with his highest average of the entire tour, a 103.1 over six legs. Does that raise the blood pressure at all? No, no, it doesn't actually. <laughs> It doesn't matter. All right, Jim, we're done. Like, I'm moving on. All right, Matt. <laughs> Matt, uh, Matt, I'm going to move on to you. I want to. I want to try to incite some sort of riot here. Uh, Matt, taking a look at it, uh, taking a look at the standings and uh, the the way you've been shooting this season. Obviously, this is for seeding, but it also kind of uh, could be a preview. Are you cognizant of that? Looking at the fact that you're in first place by one point over Jim and could all but clinch first and top seeding for the Canadian division. No, I don't think the placement really matters in this type of field, just coming through and then facing the battle as it comes. I'm going to make you both angry tonight. Come hell or high water, I swear it's going to happen. I'm going to make you into fierce competitors somehow. Uh, but Matt, how, how have you been doing? How have you been, uh, how have your, your darts been flying? How, how's everything been going with the pandemic for you? Uh, same thing, different day. Uh, darts are going up and down as usual, but uh, just can't wait to finally go back to work whenever that will be. You and me both, my friend. Well, I'm going to let you guys get to work right now. Go ahead, throw, uh, throw a few darts, get nice and warmed up. Uh, I wish you both the very best of luck, and uh, right. I hope you guys get that, that blood pump and get that blood pressure rising. It is great to see you both as always. Not a word from Jim. Maybe I finally got under his skin. We can only hope. So tonight, it is once again Matt Campbell and Jim Long. Our stream this week is on the A to Z darts to, uh, dot, dot com. Magic Darts. I'm so excited about the match. I can't even get it out. The Magic Darts streams on Facebook and on YouTube. Next week, it will return to USA Darts on YouTube and the Champ Darts Facebook page. Uh, Matt won the cork i will let you know there will be a break after the seventh leg and so uh gentlemen when you are ready to go matt is going to lead off having won the cork it appears they're both done speaking with me so i'll get right into it what else do you need to know about these two gents you know you're ready the brother honor? i'm good oh, to go there we I'll go yeah, okay, I'm good. Yeah. All right, she will. She will. Pleasantries ex exchange, and of course, it is a race to eight of 14, two points on the line in the event of a 7 7 tie. Each competitor will get one point apiece. So, again, what do we know about these guys? Well, they're the two Canadians that represented not only their country, but the CDC at the Alley Pally over the last two years Jim Long in December of 2018, and Matt Campbell just this past December, which feels like 1986 at this point. Uh, both men with CDC event titles under the belt, nothing but respect from everyone in North America and the darts community, and with their showing at the Alley Pally, international respect to boot. Jim Long uh, shot a 10-darter last night. Matt Campbell has done that as well. We had a 9-darter last week, of course, with Sean Brenneman. So now we will leave it in the capable hands of these two fierce competitors as we are well underway. Once again, I'm Colin Cosell. You're you. We're all at home. And we appreciate you joining us during these uncertain and very strange times. Scary, but you know what? One of the outlets bringing you live sports, and we are doing it right here. Thanks to the higher-ups, the championship dart circuit, for pivoting and putting together this tour, uh, this virtual tour that's the league. Seven of the top shooters in the United States, seven of the top shooters in Canada, playing round-robin format until we reach the playoffs just two short weeks from tonight. 
Paul the Rock Achenbach. Good to see you, my friend. Great to see you all. And uh, I agree, Bobby Freeman, 1986 22. was a great year, but that's talking Mets stuff right there. I'd love to go back to that. It was a simpler time. Gorgeous treble from Matt Campbell. 104. Oh, you heard a, you heard a little bit of disappointment. He really wanted that trip 19 with the third dart, but he'll have some time. Jim Long down to 253. You have to play baseball first, James. Again, everyone here is part of the, pr the production. I'll get back into that in just a moment. Matt Campbell now looking to hold throw. Beautiful first, second dart. Just inside, good marker. 54. Oh, too good, in fact. Decided to go right next door. Perfect strangers, but again, he will have three darts at that. So, yes, everyone involved here, part of the production. You are part of the commentary, so to speak. I am watching what you're saying. Sometimes the words hurt. But the dart players themselves, also part of the production, now Matt Campbell. First dart indeed. So Matt Campbell holds throw. Campbell at long. Every single one of our 14 shooters has gone through extensive production it's meetings good. with L. David Irit and Kevin Malenfant getting their camera angles right, their lighting right, their spots correct. So much has gone into it before they could even really warm up. And we appreciate that more than we could express. There's a nice ton 40 from Campbell looking for our first maximum, though. No, Aaron Quinn, you just missed my inane dribble to lead it all off. And for those of you just joining us, you missed my announcement about the sweepstakes tonight. Go to facebook.com slash champ darts. Look at the post pinned at the top. There are going to be three simple questions about tonight's match. As soon as this match is over, you go to the Championship Dart Circuit Facebook page. You find that uh, questionnaire. The answers, you got a cheat sheet. It is on Dart Connect. Look at the match results. There are your answers. You have a shot at winning Rob Cross autographed dart set and Darren Young One signature five. Uh, flights from Fit Flight and a Fit Flight case. Campbell, making quick work of this second leg. As we know, Baby. loves to play Jim Long in the CDC format. I don't know about you, Jim Long, but I prefer a 161 out. Don't know what it is. 133. There's a ton of 33 after that first perfect dart, second lackluster, but leaves himself an out. He hit the double 12 before, and he will have another shot at it, that first dart south of the triple 20 for Long. 83 will leave him 78. Campbell now. The Ginger Ninja was going for the red mark. Now he's going after the green. Walk it in. 18. Took too far of a walk. Went right off the end of the plank. Now Jim Long looking to hold throw, much like Campbell did in the first leg. Again, it is a race to eight in the event of 7-7 seven, seven tie. Each one of these competitors gets one point. Campbell trying to put a hurting and a lockdown on the Canadian division. Uh, Get that number one seed. Long misses that double 20. Matt Campbell, a double three. Amateurs hate First it. Professionals time. love it. So Campbell breaks long. Callie West is in the house. One half of the dynamic duo with Robin Curry, the pride of upstate New York. Congratulations. You guys are slowly starting to open up. Perhaps some normalcy around the corner. We'll see. 140. And there's a ton 40 from Jim Long. Perhaps a little bit of anger in him now. The Canadian's just way too pleasant for my liking during the preliminary interviews. Perhaps we'll get a different look at that at the break. Little Richard Ashdown loves the double three because it's eye level. He told me that himself. Nice. That is no disrespect to the great little Richard Ashdown.
45. So 45 out of Campbell, maybe slowing down just enough for Jim Long to get a break back. 42. Definitely not with that first dart or second or third, really. Not the darts we're used to seeing out of Jim Long. Matt Campbell walking the horizon. And then that third dart. That 19 not being too kind to the Ginger Ninja. That is a 140 indeed. I love having the dart players talk me through their scores just in case there's any lag in the in the web universe out there. I mean, not nothing quite like Sean Brenneman walking us through every dart of his nine darter last week. And look at this. Uh, third dart. Third dart indeed. It sounded like a beleaguered side turned into a, a lackluster triumphant third call for Jim Long. So Long able to break. Now looking to hold. And notch this thing at two. A happy birthday to Lily Mawson. Gary Mawson's wife has turned some derivative of 21, something after 21. All we know is she's of legal drinking age. Have yourself a cocktail. 96. Put it on my tab. 96 now from Campbell. After the gorgeous 137 to open from Long. 81. Expecting to watch this chat room fill up, especially after all of you who missed Sean Brenneman's nine darter last week. Suddenly it doubled in capacity. All of you suffering from FOMO, fear of missing out, and you did. But enough of that. What's past is past. Campbell edging closer to the treble 19, still having trouble with it, but gets a 99 nonetheless. Jim Long now. But love to hold throw and keep this toe to toe. Uh, 140. We're neck and neck, body part to body part. You fill in the blanks. It's up to you. Who cares? These are strange times. You got a strange commentator. 59. Jim Long, first dart perfect. Uh, game in two. Second dart perfect. Two darts out. A gorgeous 83 out. Two darter. Jim Long notches it at two. 107 average on that leg for Jim Long. Again, he shot 10 darter last night, a 14 darter there. 123. What's going on, Jason Watt? Hello, Boiling Springs, South Carolina. Hello from Long Island. And for these two gentlemen, hello from, well, Ontario, both of them. It's going to make it a little more dramatic, but no need. Again, there will be a break after the seventh leg. First dart perfect for long. Second dart perfect for long. Uh, Third dart. That is a 140 indeed. Maybe a little too much blockage there. Maybe a little too much gravity. We don't know, but still a ton 40. Most of us would love to have that on a regular basis. 43. Thank you for the kind words, Alex Gutierrez Matamoros. We appreciate that. 100. Jim Long, you can't read based on what he says. You can't read what's going on with him based on his voice, his tone. He had more excitement over the 100, it sounded like, than a 140. Perhaps he just wanted that ton 80 so badly. So now, Long. 
At least he's even now. Uh, 66. Well, he was. Get your kicks with a 66. Jim Long down to 111. Matt Campbell not down to an out so long. He's going to figure out his out. Fifty-eight out of Campbell, your front runner right now in the Canadian division. One point lead. I'm gonna double check that, but I believe a one point lead over Jim Long. Indeed, Matt Campbell with eight points, Jim Long with seven. Campbell looking for the high out. Oh, the triple nineteen is just giving him fits. Jim Long now to take his first lead of the match. Going on a three-leg run. If he's going to walk it in, that's not the good marker. That second one, a great correction. Jim Long now takes a three-to-two lead after a two-nil deficit to lead off. Is up three-to-two. So now, Matt Campbell has been broken. Jim Long can extend his lead to two for the first time. Uh, 140. There is a ton 40 and just so calm, cool, and collected as he announces it for us. Matt Campbell, who came storming into this match. The first two legs gets the poor man's ton 80 with a one, two, three. Forty-five. Ooh, lackluster third dart there for Jim Long. John Menicella, hello from Dirty Jurors. Timbo Slice, Mono, Ontario, Canada. James Eugenia, Queens, we know. Forty-four. 44 out of Jim Long and David Garfinkel, who has been helping me along. I've been swamped with many other things in my life. has been helping me with uh, some of the storylines here, not the least of which. Campbell, the only player to win every mount, uh, match so far. He and Long are the only two to not lose out to out of all of the 14 shooters. 137. There's a nice ton 37 out of Jim Long. That leaves him a ton 35. So now Campbell. Oh, he needed that first one. He's trying to level it out there with the bullseye. Did not do so. He's been having a little bit of trouble with the 19s and falling into the triple one. So Jim Long, one, three, five. Not the prettiest. He wanted that single bull first. Maybe that double foot bull first. Either one would have worked. And to be honest with you, if I had run the numbers anyway, I still probably would not have figured out that Campbell's the only player to win every match so far. Now, Campbell. 57. Oh, that first star was perfect, and the next two just a little too high, like Stevie Wonder off of Intervisions. Jim Long now. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go listen to the album. Phenomenal song. Perfect album. That looks like a 19. Now, a little bit of lag, either that or else his darts. 55. His darts are just moving in slow motion. Campbell now. Second dart. 35. No, that did not. It went into the single 10. Third dart goes into the five. Jim Long to take his first two-leg lead of the match. The otherwise unbeaten Matt Campbell. Yeah, for sure. There's a first start from Jim Long. He now has a 4-2 lead. First two won by Campbell. Next four won by Long. A little sigh of exasperation for Matt Campbell, perhaps. Although he seems pretty unflappable. Oh, look at this. 140. There's a 140 from Campbell. Perhaps the Ginger Ninja getting a little red and flushed with frustration, taking it out on the triple 20. 54. And now a 54 from Long. Can Campbell keep it up? 
He's right there. Oh, he found the triple 19. And a 96, not too shabby considering what he's been up against with the 19 so far now long. Having triple nice. troubles now. This could be the opening that Campbell needs. We will be taking a break as soon as this leg is over. 95. 95 from Campbell leaves him the perfect 170 out. Campbell, a lot of work to do. A ton 80 would be huge. Not going to happen. So at the break, should Campbell win this leg, he would carry some momentum. Can Campbell take out the ton 70? First start looked a little south. It was indeed. 134. But a gorgeous 134 leaves him a double 18 out. Jim Long. We have yet to see a maximum in this match. But we've seen a whole ton of ton 40s. Matt Campbell. To make it 4-3 at the break. Great marker. Good job, buddy. Nope. It couldn't get better than that marker. It is in. And so with that, we will take our break. Jim Long, an 85 average. Matt Campbell, 83. Campbell won the first two. Jim Long won the next four. Campbell takes a one-leg, well, I'll say momentum, into the break. And now, with that, we implore you to stick around. Here is a word from some of our sponsors at Magic Darts. And just a reminder, ladies and gentlemen, our friends at Magic Darts want you to know that their Colonial line of dart boards and their dart barrels are available at a to zdarts.com. But until May 31st, you can get 10% off the entire Colonial line. Just use the promo code COLONIAL10 at checkout. And another reminder, we have our first sweepstakes going on. That's right, courtesy of Magic Darts. Tonight, you could win Rob Cross Voltage Darts autograph package, courtesy of Magic Darts, as well as a set of Darren Young signature fit flights and a fit flight case, courtesy of our longtime partner, Cosmo Darts. All you have to do is at the end of this match, go to the CDC Facebook page. At the top of it, pinned will be a post with three simple questions about the match you're watching right now. And the answers, you've got a cheat sheet. They will be on the Dart Connect match report available at TV darkconnect.com one entry per person otherwise you'll be disqualified the top of the cdc facebook page and of course cdc employees staff and immediate fa immediate family members are ineligible no purchase necessary to enter void where prohibited by law gentlemen i ask you to please come back to the line take six more darts to warm up and we will get this thing underway and of course, to uh, everyone out there, we will be having these sweepstakes for the remainder of our live streams, one per week. And of course, this is the penultimate week and then the playoffs begin. But once again, Jim and Matt, I implore you to get back to the line, get warmed up if you haven't stopped shooting already. Jim Long with a 4-3 lead over Matt Campbell. If you missed anything, Campbell chubbed out the 2-0 lead. Long won four straight. And then Campbell 
won the last leg going into the break. Jim Long is going to lead off this eighth leg. Again, it's a race to eight, two points on the line. And if we end in a tie, each of them gets one point apiece. This is all about positioning now for the Canadian bracket. Game on, I'm assuming so. And it is game on if you guys are ready. <laughs> okay. It goes quiet, right? I can't hear Colin anymore, so it's got to be game on. Too well, Brian. That's because the production team did Matt Campbell a favor by shutting me down. Always feel bad when the players have to listen to me. So, again, Matt Campbell in first as of tonight with eight points. Jim Long right behind him with seven points. Kiefer Durham with six. Kylie Edmonds with five. And a ton to open with Jim Long tomorrow night. You don't want to miss it. Danny Lobby versus Chuck Puglio. So much on the line. Julio, basically a win and in. Lauby, if he loses, well, that's going to do it for your reigning Continental Cup champion. Learning some geography in the chat tonight. Didn't realize London, Ontario and London, England were just a few minutes down the road from each other. Things are very different these days. I just got a reminder this afternoon that it was the month of May. Totally forgot about that. So who knows anymore? 100. But again, we thank you all for joining us. Once again, I'm Colin Cosell. That was Matt Campbell. Jim Long is now at the hockey. Behind the boards, you've got L. David Irie and Kevin Malenfant, and of course, our super amazing team, Jennifer Mounts, with all of the production aspects with our graphics and what have you. And of course, Peter Cetera, Anthony Eugenia, L. David Irie, Jeff Good, who helped take the pivot and create this virtual league. You are watching live sports, one of the few places you can, and you, the fans, are real. You're not cardboard cutouts like the Korean baseball organization. So Jim Wong now, looking like a man possessed, brings himself down and out. Nary a maximum to be found. Matt Campbell is undefeated in league play this season. He is a perfect 4-0. Jim Long has not lost either. He has one tie to his record. He's 3-0-1. Thanks again to 97. David Garfinkel and Chuck Schick for their help with all the stats and background information that well, I just can't keep track of. My brain can't handle it. 94. Still trying to recover from last week's nine darter. Jim Long now to take uh, the 5 3 lead, and he does with the first dart. Jim Long's first dart percentage has gotten better and better as the match has progressed. An admirable 94 average on that leg, an 86 overall in the match to Campbell's 82. 180. Mike Spike Seglio is checking in from Fishkill, New York. Got to be uh, relatively close to where they're starting to open up some things. Here on Long Island and in New York City, oh, well, we'll see. Again, it has been a bizarre turn of events this year, starting at the end of January and into February, and of course, March and April. But we have kept you normal in the world of darts. We're thrilled to do it. And on behalf of everyone who's put it together, you're welcome. Another nice ton 40 from Jim Long. 96. Former Mr. New York City, Mr. NYC, Michael Burns is now joining us. Vinny Norton is going to buy us all shots. An easy thing to do when we're not in a bar together. There's a nice ton 40 from Jim Long. Had about a millimeter to work with, and he worked with it. Now Campbell. Second dart, Aaron, to say the least. Third dart, definitely not Aaron. A gorgeous 96. We know he loves that double 12. When interviewed in all of these pre-matches, Matt Campbell said his preferred double is the one he hits. Campbell, your PDC World Championship qualifier for the 2020 PDC okay. World Championship. The man right behind him, Jim Long. Campbell unable to show it off. Did he with the third dart? He did. 
That three o'clock angle is killing me, but at least Dart Connect and our friends there, Dave and One Greg, you guys five. are phenomenal. And there's a one, three, five from Long. But again, Jim Long, the PDC World Championship qualifier for the 2019, was there in December of 2018. 55. And the Americans, Darren Young, of course, was the man who qualified and knocked out Barney. He retired Barney. 140. There's a ton 40 for Matt Campbell. And to echo what David Garfinkel just said in the stream, I do appreciate it. They're doing what uh, what you would do in, in bar darts. Make sure that the other person saw what you threw. Pulling the darts 60. up or to the side so you knew that it was in. Perhaps my eyes are just deceiving me in my old age. Maybe I've just been staring at computer screens too much. Who knows? Uh, 140. That is a 140 from Campbell, though. Look at Long. Oh, the second dart. Not quite. Uh, 121. But a 121, and he is pounding the left quadrant of the triple 20. And saw him with his second dart, tried to adjust to it, ended up in the one, went right back to where he started. 57. And boom, he said, it's all right. And he's coming on. He's going to get right back to where he started from. First dart is okay. He's still alive. Should have gone back to that left quadrant, Jim. Uh, 57. Yeah can only imagine what the players think if they go back and listen to my commentary. I'm sure there's going to be some awkward. Well, we'll get to that in a second. Campbell now. Double eight. 56, uh, 54, 56. 56 indeed. Yes, he is correct with the third attempt at the math. And eight, I'm sure there's going to be some crooked eyes given my way. So now Jim Long looking to take a somewhat commanding 6-4 lead. First start, perfect. Second dart, good marker. Third dart. Oh, might have nicked his own flight and dropped the dart down. Matt Campbell with a notch it at five. The two top competitors in the Canadian division. Matt Campbell. Nothing. Oh. Could not get it to go in. Long for the 6-4 lead. <sighs> Pretty good marker. Second dart a little too strong. Third is in there. Jim Long now with a 6-4 lead. Keeping in mind, Matt Campbell jumped out to the two-leg lead. Jim Long since has been 6-2. to two. Soldier with us. Lowby with us. Sixty. A 60 from Campbell. He really wanted a strong start there, especially if he's going to hold throw. You have a feeling that if he were to do so in this leg, we have a strong possibility of going 7-7. And guess what, folks? When it comes to the playoffs, there are no ties. Only in the regular season. This is number one versus number two. The drama is starting to build here in week six, two weeks from tonight. We'll know everything. We'll be watching everything. We will have a clear picture of what to expect as we advance towards 33. the first ever CDC tour, or rather, I keep calling it the tour. I'm so used to it. Still can't snap out myself out of it. CDC league, a virtual league. Campbell, two perfect darts. 180. And that's a 180 out of Matt Campbell, our first maximum of the night. Couldn't come a moment too soon for Campbell. 100. As I was saying, we're edging ever closer to the first ever CDC League Championship. 
after the divisional finals between the Americans and the Canadians, it will be Canada versus the U.S. 85. Jim Long sounding like he's about to do some soft talk radio in 85. Now Matt Campbell, first start just south, no harm, no foul. 55. Oh, a little too low for Campbell. Leaves him a, a, a single 20 and a double 10. Now Long. Uh, 57. I, you know, it's not the first time I've missed a ton. Maybe y'all leave me alone at home. Tired. Second dart for Matt Campbell does it, though. 6-5. Never mind. Two maximums on the night. I missed one before. Guess I was going through my notes. Whatever. Call me predictably unpredictable. I thank you all at home for keeping me honest. I can tell you that was a 60, though. Ninety-five. A ninety-five out of Campbell. Is he starting to heat up now? Could not incite any anger or animosity out of either of these two gentlemen. It's kind of frustrating. Forty-five. You know, it's funny how that trip 19 has been eluding and evading Matt Campbell. And then suddenly he finds it just when I had given up. 97. 97 out of long now. There's a ton 40 from Campbell. Tons of ton 40s. My dog Bagel is excited. You hear him in the background. Apparently a couple of ton 80s, so I'm told. I don't know. You guys are my eyes and ears. Everyone excited to see Big Daddy Darren Young is viewing tonight. And of course, part of the sweepstakes, we are giving away a set of his signature fit flights as well as a fit flight case and autographed darts package filled with darts, of course. From Rob Cross, his voltage darts, all of this courtesy of Magic Darts and the fit flights courtesy of our partner Cosmo Darts. Third dart. And there's the third dart from Matt Campbell, a 102 out. And we are notched at six. Campbell now has the average lead at 86 to Jim Long's 85. Campbell with the break now able to hold throw, looking for what I'm told is our third ton 80. Did not like where that, where his darts and flights lined up, so he dropped down to the 19. Darren Young with a very casual, hi guys. Hi, Darren. And hello to Holly. 97. So breakfast was served for Long Campbell. 97. With a 97. Perhaps the tables have turned in favor of Matt Campbell. 81. 81 from Long. Not great, but not bad. 43. Again, Campbell 43. with eight points. He's already clinched. He will clinch the number one seed with a win tonight over Jim Long. Jim Long right behind him with seven 50. points. Long will clinch the minimum of the, of the second seed with a win or a tie with Campbell tonight. So it's all about seeding for these two. 
And for those of you who want to participate in the sweepstakes, you just go to the CDC Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash champ darts. And the entry form will be pinned to the top of the page. The sweepstakes will begin effectively at the end of tonight. But first, how about the end of this leg? Two darts from Matt Campbell. Now, the number one seed is in his control and command. A 107, beautiful 14 darter from Matt Campbell. Uh, 140. There's a ton 40 from Jim Long. We have not heard the end of him yet. Your two reigning Canadian representatives for the CDC at the Alley Pally going toe to toe right now. Number one and number two, Campbell versus Long. Could this be a bit of a preview of what's going to happen in the playoffs, in the Canadian one. final? Could this be the preview we're all thinking could happen? I can't say hoping because I like all these guys too much. Oh, are we looking at our third? 180. That's a 180 for Matt Campbell, as I'm told, our third one of the night. But if I'm keeping score, second for me. I missed the one before, but a little humility goes a long way. Now, Jim Long, looking to answer. 140. Oh, that's a ton 40. Which leaves him a ton 80. Can't get too excited about that because we all know that's not an out. Now, Campbell. 77. 77 leaves him a gorgeous 160 out. Jim Long does not have that luxury of an out. Could the high out of the night? Sounds like Jim dropped a dart, but did not miss a beat. Pick it up right where he left oh, off, 60. just north of the triple 20. There's a 60. Now, Matt Campbell. The high out of the night would clinch the number one seed, 160. That's a good not going to happen with a single one, I'll tell you that. I may have missed a ton 80, but I did not miss the math 22. on that one. And a 42 from Matt Campbell. Jim Long to notch this at seven. And clinch at least the number two seed. There's the 80. Oh, 100. Oh, 100 indeed. Grossed out by his own darts. Matt Campbell now, 118 to clinch the number one seed. Looks like it could be a five. No? We'll see. Double 19. There it is. Matt Campbell has done it. Matt Campbell has clinched. The hey, Canadian there, Division, Asia. Matt Campbell will be I'm your sure number one good. seed going oh, into man. the playoffs, taking down Jim Long, 8-6, to six, a 2-0 lead. And Jim Long came storming back. Since then, Matt Campbell did the very same. Shoots a 100 average right there to win the night 8-6 and remains undefeated on the season. I now ask Matt Campbell and Jim Long to step forward, come forth, Let's have a little chat, shall we, gentlemen? We explain such, we are exchanged such wonderful pleasantries in the beginning of the night. Let's get them both on their marks and see where they stand in their mindset. Jim Long, I mean, you want to talk back and forth. This was like Rocky IV. I didn't know who was going to go down. It was just slugfest. And, I mean, Matt came out swinging, and then you took absolute control of the match, and then Matt came storming back. What, what happened at the end there from your point of view? Uh, you asking me? Yes, Jeff. Um, Matt, Matt, who's doubles, he he played good, so that's just how it went. Um, I, uh, I I tapered off in my scoring near the end, and man, you can't do that, and that's a simple fact. Uh, maybe I don't like playing with a lead. Well, now it all comes down to seeding, and next week a uh, this becomes a pivotal match for you. You're going to play against Kiefer Durham, and uh, basically all that's on the line is the number two seed. How important is that to you? Uh, you know what? Probably uh, – I'm not really sure. I haven't looked at the standings, but I think Kiefer and I will play next week, and then I'm, I'm going to guess uh, probably me and Kiefer in the first round, but I'm not sure. Um, so it's just the way it is. Uh, 
you know, I should have uh, should have shot a nine darter tonight, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. I still try to make it sound as exciting as possible. Very easy for me to raise that bar after the uh, the conversation we had in the beginning, the preliminary interviews, uh, when it was all just way too friendly. Jim, we appreciate it. Thank you so much. Now over to Matt Campbell. Matt, you are you made history tonight. You are our first ever divisional winner in the Canadian division in the CDC League. Congratulations on that. Uh, you seem to kick it into a whole other gear there. Uh, what really clicked for you? What went on mentally? How were you able to settle yourself down and throw the darts we're so accustomed to you throwing? Oh, thanks for that, Colin. Uh, pretty much just got pissed off with missing doubles, and everything just worked out for the way it did. Come I back. knew I was going to get you pissed off one way or another. It wasn't my doing there <laughs> at the line, but I'm glad I finally got to that point. Uh, what does it mean to you to, to be a part of history, to actually – uh, be the number one seed and the first one to win the regular season Canadian division in the CDC league. It means a lot. Uh, thanks to the CDC for putting us on, but the real history is winning this whole thing. So let's try and do that and go from there. Well, next week you play against Sean Brenneman. Sean is holding on to a little sliver of hope uh, and we'll see how that all plays out. But in the meantime, next week you get to go into kind of a, a relaxed setting as the number one seed, uh, do you take that as, as something that you'll take as practice or are you going to go and attack it like a playoff caliber match? Well, I know Sean, like we play in a bunch of tournaments against each other. So I'm going to go in and try and kill him like he would do me. So hopefully he hits two nine starters against me though. <laughs> we can all only open. Hopefully you get one right back. Well, we really appreciate it, Matt. Congratulations. Go relax. Have yourself a drink. You've earned it. Ladies and gentlemen, your regular season Canadian champion, Matt Campbell. Until the playoffs, uh, we will see you then. But uh, thank you so much for a tremendous showing tonight and for always being a class act. We really appreciate it. No, thank you. And a man of few words, we love him so much. Well, that's going to do it for tonight's match. I want to thank you all, as always, for tuning in, sharing, chatting, and enjoying one of the few live sporting events available in the world during these strange times. You better tune in tomorrow for quite possibly the biggest streaming match of the season. Lauby, Pulio, you, me, and I have a feeling Jeremiah Millar will be watching as well. And as always, all matches begin at 8 p.m. Eastern. Another quick reminder, the sweepstakes is officially underway. To win Rob Cross autographed darts and Darren Young uh, flights, as well as a flight case, all brought to you by Magic Darts and Fit Flights and Cosmo Darts. Uh, that is all going to be found at the top of the CDC Facebook page right now, facebook.com forward slash champ darts. Check out the post pinned at the top. Answer these three simple questions at the top. I don't have them in front of me. All of the answers are available. The cheat sheet is available right now on the Dart Connect match report from tonight's match. Only one entry per person. Otherwise, you will be disqualified, and that's nobody's fault but your own. All rights to this broadcast are owned by the Championship Darts Corporation. Any rebroadcast or retransmission, including images and likeness without expression, written consent of the copyright holder, is strictly prohibited. Once again, we remind you, go to a-to-z-darts.com for the colonial line and use the promotional code Colonial10. This broadcast was brought to you by USA Dart Productions, courtesy of uh, Kevin Malifont and our super producer, L. David Irate. Special thanks to Chuck Schick and David Garfinkel for stats and info. We could not do it without you. On behalf of Matt Campbell, your division winner in the regular season, Jim Long, always a champion, now vying for the number two position, and our amazing crew working behind the scenes in the CDC. I'm Colin Cosell saying stay home, stay safe, Take care of one another. Be kind to one another for a change. In the meantime, I will see you tomorrow night. Lauby, Pulio, you, me, 8 p.m. Eastern. Have a good night.